Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It's time for a mail video, Peter, and you know what that means. Oh, it's time for our mail song. You got that right. Follow my lead. All right. I'm ready. When I open the mail, it makes me feel so good. Mail. Why Why would I say that? Or mail. And you are watching us. Taking in the beauty of the, the world. Wow. Close enough. You're bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a follower. You know what? You're Unfortunately, more of a I'm not much of a leader. Here, okay, how about, <laughs> let's let's see what's better. They can vote. Okay, in the comments below. Peter, you lead a mail song, and we'll and we'll go for it. Right now. Yeah. Not just, next week? No, just do it right now. All right. We're going to get two mail songs. Open in the mail. Open it today. The We're going to open the mail tonight. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've got two letters. You've and I've got, got one, one package. box. So I will go first and last, I believe. And I will go in the middle, I believe. Yeah, and I'm gonna open this one because it came to us last week, and it was the only thing that came to us last week. So we, I didn't, we didn't make a video. It's true. We just kind of like we like, let it stock up. Yeah, so we can open a few in the thing, and it's from. This comes to us from Canada, Whoa. Brit British Columbia, Canada. I don't want to read the name on the envelope just in case you don't want that on the internet. But we're very excited to open it. You know who you are. You're the only one from British Columbia, Canada, to send us something. Yes, that's true. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so far, anyway. So far. So far away. So far anywhere. To the basement. Oh, there's a first name in the end of this letter, so I'll say this is from Chloe. Okay, sweet. To the basement. Hi, you guys. I think you guys are the best. Aww. Aww. I was wondering how many stations you have. How many stations? I have, as a family, oh. two Xbox 360 and two B-Box One. I'm guessing that's Xbox One. A Nintendo Switch and a Wii. I love your Minecraft and Wind Waker videos. I love, okay, hold on. So we should answer how many stations we have. So we've got a Nintendo, a yeah, Super yeah. Nintendo, a Nintendo 64, got. a GameCube, a Wii, a Wii U and a Switch. We also have the NES Classic. Yep. We also have the Super Nintendo Classic. There is a PlayStation sitting up there and a couple extra Super Nintendos. And then we got a PC. I don't know if you're counting that. Yep, we have the PC. Um, um, you've also got the Mac. Okay, and then I have... You've got a PS3. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I, I've got a whole bunch too. Okay. So then I've got an NES. So you've got your number? Yes. Okay. So then I've got an NES, a Super Nintendo, two Nintendo 64s, a Sega Genesis, a PS3, and a GameCube. I think that's it. How about uh, portables? Oh, shoot, portables. Oh, a Switch and well, a Wii U. We, yeah. I forgot That's about that. That's not very portable. Well, I was just saying, I forgot about those. I didn't count the. Switch How about and the like Wii a Game U Boy? We've I, got a Game sorry, Boy Advance. I've got, I've got a Switch and a Wii U and two Wiis. Uh huh. Okay, and then I've got a 2DS a, and two DSs. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. That's all. Oh, and a PSP that I've never played. Somebody gave it to me, and I just don't have the time to play it. So I think 18 unique ones. We're not counting any duplicates, even between us. Okay. That's a lot. Holy cow. Because <laughs> I've got a Game Boy Advance. I feel kind of bad, but yeah. also kind of like cool. Well, we're using them. That's true, except for the PSP. <laughs> yeah, no. My kids <laughs> played GameCube just uh, last weekend. What a great console. <laughs> Blum. Blum. <laughs> I was making fun of you by going on. <laughs> I know, you were going to do that, that too anyway. <laughs> uh, I love your Minecraft and Wind Waker videos. We love making those, thank you. Yes. I love Sunday long play and live streams. Oh, Although, not as much as Sunday long Not play. as much as Sunday long So they're play. A, Chloe's a Peter fan. So if anyone doesn't know, oh, well, she likes the, long, the, the live streams too. So we've got our regular dual commentary stuff that comes out daily. Like this. Right. Except this is a little different. But on Sundays, <laughs> it's just me and it's pre-recorded. And on Saturday nights, it's just Ted, usually. And it's live. Um, 
So that's kind of a fun way to get like our personalities up separated from each other. And then our daily videos are our personalities bouncing off of each other, which is which is my favorite. <clears throat> it is definitely a little different. Uh, me and my friend love that you are family friendly. Thank you. We like it too. I live with my mom, dad, two sisters, and a Korean exchange student who's oh. also a girl and 12 year old me. It's super cool that you've got an exchange student. Uh, I think that's a wonderful idea and a fantastic program and a host families have a high calling and it's an important thing to do. So thank you for your personal sacrifice. Just taking in an extra sibling is like, like that affects you. Yeah, but it's also not just for the parents. Like yeah. thank your parents too, because that is pretty rad that they have I want to do that student. eventually. We should, yeah. I should totally do that. That would be fun. Yeah, we got extra space. Uh, I had idea for a game you two could play together on the channel. It Ooh. is so fun, I can speedrun some of the levels, and my four-year-old sister can play it. Now the moment you have all been waiting for, drum roll please. <gasps> it is... I saw the title. Just Human say. Fall Flat. That's a game that Ted has actually suggested to me that we should play sometime. We totally did. It's totally us. Because it it's like so ragdoll co-op hilarious physics engine. Oh my right? gosh. We gotta Why are we not doing it right now? Yeah, we super want to play that game, and we're probably going to make that happen at some point. So oh gosh. stick around and stay tuned. Yes. Uh, it is made up of many levels and puzzles. Hope you guys continue to do what you do. Oh, and one more thing. I'm making a little something for you guys. Bye Ooh. from Chloe. And there's a, a cool teaser, drawing teaser here. Mail. It's like a Minecrafty kind of avatar. And then I think our it's couch. a human fall flat guy. And then, oh, and then some stairs down. It almost looks like a tree house with stairs coming down like to the basement. Yeah, stairs coming down to, yeah. Very oh. cool. Chloe. Thank Super you. awesome. That's totally rad. I'm glad you sent that to us. Yes, thank you. In case you couldn't hear Peter, because he was closer to the camera, but for the oh, mic. that's true. I forget. <laughs> it sounds different when I'm closer to the camera because my right. right here. This mail uh, came to us from Ashes Dashes. This guy went totally out of his way to hand deliver this package. Yep, he lives nearby and he knows who we are, and we ha he handed the box directly to. This yours guy. truly, this yes. one, this one of us, yours truly. Yes, so one. let's open up the box. And because you didn't have to actually mail it, it's not super packed, which is nice. You need a knife? No, nope. I've got skill. Okay, because there's one around here somewhere. Oh, right here. All right. Now that you found the knife, I'm done. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I'll just play with it the... and hurt Ooh, myself. Okay, there's a letter. Ooh. Let's read the letter first. <laughs> Dear Ted and Peter, I love it. There's a picture of Swine Shrine. This is totally a picture of Swine Shrine. Dear Ted and Peter, the contained piece of wood is a wood burning specifically made for the two of you. You can, no, you will, because I think you'll like it. Display this wherever you would like, but preferably not in the attic. It may fit nicely tucked away in the basement, though. <laughs> Sincerely, Ashes Dashes 777 on YouTube. Yeah, Ashes Dashes has a channel. Dude, Ashes, you get us. <laughs> yeah. P.S. For your information, I have just plugged my incredibly repugnant YouTube channel into your video that will be viewed by many people. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Very sneaky. Nice. That's Ashes Dashes 777 on YouTube.com. I love the shrine swine there, too. Very Ashes cool. Dashes is also one of our patrons and is a regular on the realm. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So, oh, dude. Whoa. This is so cool. Is that like burned in? Yeah, it's a wood burning. Oh, okay. I remember doing that in school with like the little like gun instrument thing that you have where you touch it to the wood and it yeah, smokes. Yeah, this is so well smells. done too. Okay, yeah, I'm going sh yeah, to show, show them. Show them. We got to tell. <gasps> there's a back on it. All right, you explain it. Okay, so there's Wind Waker Link on one of the sides. I'm not sure which side you're going to see. And then Minecraft Steve on the other with the sword. And then the basement logo in the middle. It's awesome. All very and then, well done. And then when you flip it over, this is also well done. It's basement us. I know. It's a burned, logo and it's you and I and my eyebrows up and your glasses Burned on. into wood. I almost wish it was two different ones. So no matter what we were doing, we could see both sides. Yeah, that's got to go somewhere prominent, though. Yeah, I was thinking that could go above the TV or below the TV or something. But there's what you guys can't see. Maybe we'll show you sometime is that I'm there's sticking it right wood there all now. around our TV right now. So it like, totally fits in with the decor. Yeah. Thank you, Ashes Dashes 777 for that awesome gift. Super great, great. letter. Like super uh, clever wording, too. I was like chuckling. And I like the cool diagonal letter. lines oh. on the front of the... LOL, I tricked you. It's, it's not, not an envelope. envelope. Yeah, the lines that make oh. it look like an envelope. 
fuck up just a V on it. <laughs> Lol, I tricked you. I want to make sure that we did, we got everything. I think we did. Uh, yeah, we got bubble wrap though. Ooh. That's important. Gotta have the bubble wrap. All right, our final item tonight is a letter that comes to us from Grovetown, Georgia. I'll see if there's a name on the inside. I think it's I think it's okay to read the name on the inside of the letter, but yeah. not necessarily the full name on the oh, yeah, and, and return the address. address. <laughs> and and that's address. like a professional sticker, so it might be like your mom's. Or maybe address? it is. Like your mom's name? Maybe I don't know. Maybe it is the person. It's pretty nicely put together envelope. Who knows? All sorts of people watch the channel. Moms, kids, dads, uncles, cousins, That's true. aliens. This is some good handwriting. We got a comment wow, from Wow, we've got a letter and a drawing. Okay, I'm going to start with a letter here. A Martian emailed us. It was great. <sighs> oh, okay. There's a first name in here. So now, now you'll know who you are. Okay. And everyone else will too. Dear Peter and Ted, my name is Laura, and I have a six-year-old son named Elliot. Oh, this is the mom. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Laura. How are you guys? Very cool. We love to watch your videos together. Aw. That's like why we have the channel, by the way. <laughs> yes. Is like exactly that kind of thing. Uh, after watching so many of your videos, I feel like you guys are my real life buddies. It's so oh. weird. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a little weird, but totally cool, and that's okay. That's kind of it's, it doesn't it's just, have to be. It's more a strange weird thing that just happens because of technology, you know. Well, but, so for real, when you listen to somebody talk and tell stories about how's your day and oh, this is what I had for breakfast and whatever, like yeah. you really kind of get to know them. Yeah, absolutely. Like you, you, you probably know me better than like my best friend in middle school does now because I haven't kept in touch with him and oh, he doesn't know. Oh, that's a really weird thought. I know, but it's true. Brett Sylvester <laughs> doesn't know me as well Did as you really have you a friend guys. named Sylvester in middle school? Brent Sylvester. Oh. Yeah. Well, okay, now he's doxxed on the internet. Uh, it's okay, I think he's in prison. It's so weird. <laughs> we, you know, we think it's weird too and we're totally okay with that, so let's just, uh, we'll both be okay Brent, if you're watching and you're not in prison, please reach out to me. I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> uh, we really enjoy a lot of your series. Octodad had us absolutely cackling. Us too. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. My that was so hard. Yeah. To like, co-op. <laughs> Elliot. We, we made it weird too by controlling opposite limbs than we were supposed to. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> uh, Elliot, I mean, it was good. Elliot really likes Shovel Knight and Wind Waker. Uh, good Elliot, taste, Elliot. Yeah, you've got great taste. Those are a couple of my favorite series for sure. I mean, usually six year olds are like Minecraft, Fortnite. Uh, a couple but of you got good taste, Elliot. A couple of my favorites are Captain Bible and Spiritual Warfare. Yeah. Both Ted suggestions, by the way. So good and so bad at the same time. <laughs> I love to be able to combine my love for Jesus and my love for video games. So do we! <laughs> right? Isn't that great? It's a good combo. Uh, oh, and the Mario 64 co-op hack was prime entertainment for the both of us. I am just going to say that I think you two basically have the same taste in video games that we do. I mean, maybe not perfect overlap, but I th yeah. the Mario 64 series is one of my favorites. It's top it, five for sure, probably it's, it's top It's my favorite three. series, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I would watch that one. I, I just about pee my pants every time I let's watch it. It's it was, so, I know, so which good. sounds weird, but it's like when you record this many videos, you forget all the jokes that you tell, and so they're oh, they're funny because they're your sense gonna, of humor. When I'm gonna rewatch that series later. <laughs> I know I want to too now. <laughs> Should just uh, make another version of it. And start again. Thank you so much for providing hilarious family-friendly content for me and my family to enjoy. It is my guilty pleasure to sit on my couch and binge watch the basement all day when I'm not too busy keeping my kids alive. <laughs> That is an important thing to do. Very important job. Uh, we understand, as you probably know, each of us have three kids of our own. And uh, we do a good job of keeping them alive and helping uh, encourage our wives to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep up the good stuff. Loving awesome. y'all in Georgia. Laura. Uh, P.S. Encloses a picture from my sweet son, whose love language is drawing things for people. Oh, cool. He said the boxes on the left were supposed to be attached and they're stairs. And the bed looking thing you guys are standing on is the couch. PPS. Nice. We also love Breath of the Wild, obviously, because Zelda is the best game ever. Duh. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> official that you guys have superb taste in video games. That is fantastic. All right, I'm excited to see uh, this drawing from Elliot here. I want to be careful and make sure I don't 
do Rip anything bad to it. Yeah. <gasps> Those are great. The basement. Love Elliot, age six. There's you and I, and we're standing on a bed-like thing, which is the couch. And the and boxes. The boxes are connected. Oh, and they're the stairs. That's like a face Going on. Going down view of the in stairs. the basement. I get it. Dude, that Look is so this. cool. That is awesome. Dude, that, that's going up in the basement. You know what? That's going that's going on the shelf right up here for tonight, and then I'm going to find a better permanent place for it after this recording session. I love this space because it gives us space to put stuff that people yeah. send. Pictures. We got so many drawings from kids. We've got cool plushies that people have made us and sent us and lots of little um, knickknacks and patty wax. And yeah. Give Amiibo a dog a bone. And fake cheese and... Uh, coffee from the left coast. Oh gosh, there's. This is so much fun. I know. I love I getting mail so from much you guys. Fun. Uh, if any of you out there watching this want to send us mail, and you haven't sent us mail yet, and you're thinking I gotta draw something or send them a letter or something, you can send us mail at P.O. Box 95 in Elk River, Minnesota, five five three three zero. That's right, Ted. And, uh, you know, you can send us whatever you want. It doesn't have to be fancy or crazy. It just needs to be from you, and that makes it special. It does. And until next time, Basement Dwellers, uh, we think that you are more refreshed and excited than leftover mashed potatoes left over from leftovers. In, in the, the basement. basement. A very important part of how The Basement is able to bring you the content that we do daily is our wonderful YouTube sponsors and Patreon patrons listed on the screen now. If you would like to join this amazing group of people who are helping The Basement to make even more content and do even more streams, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen right now. And we'd love to have you join us in making The Basement not just the friendliest place on YouTube, but the most awesome place on the planet. In our solar system. In our universe. In, in the, the basement. basement.